More than 70 years ago, a British man took a wooden broomstick and crafted a toy for his young child, and Thomas the Tank Engine was born. His creation later inspired books, movies, and a very popular TV series that airs in 161 countries and territories in some 57 languages. But despite that incredible popularity, the franchise is getting a major update in an effort to appeal to even more children the world over. Roxana Saberi has the story. Thomas burst onto screens in the 80s, and with a little help from narrator Ringo Starr, the Blue Engine's adventures became an instant hit. Thomas thinks no engine works as hard as he does. He loves playing tricks on them. Thomas and his friends changed through the decades, but in more than 500 episodes, some things stayed the same. The trains never left the island of Sodor, and the female characters were rarely in the spotlight. I don't want a puff to Maithwaite to collect the stinky washing. We know that we've got a show that means a lot to young audiences. And really what we're trying to do is just bring that show into the 21st century and make it relatable for that young audience. Ian McHugh and Michaela Winter are part of the creative team overhauling Thomas and Friends. Let's go, go, go on a big world adventure. The makeover comes with an updated theme song, international travels, and two new female main characters, Rebecca and Nia. Africa is a wonderful country. <laughs> Africa is not a country, Thomas. Africa is a continent. We've always had female characters, but bringing them to the forefront of the show is really important. Having that real kind of range and diversity, I think, is really important so that everyone can watch the show and think, oh, you know, that person's like me, that character's like me, and feel represented. If about half of Thomas's fan base are girls. Why did it take so long to have a main female character? What happens is we, we sort of create a new Running female character. She's in two or three episodes. And then in the next season, she'll sort of disappear into the background while we bring in the newer characters. So I think that was a fault of our own that we wanted to sort of rectify. And that's why we decided that what we needed to do is actually move out two of the boys and bring in two new girls. The team wanted Nia, a tank engine from Kenya, to be authentic. I thought you said that you are used to animals on the tracks. The character is voiced by Yvonne Grundy, a Kenyan-born English actress. Nia was developed in partnership with the United Nations. Through Nia, we're able to see an African character really taking up a, a leadership role as a female train engine with lots of strong values and goals herself. Five UN Sustainable Development Goals, including gender equality, were weaved into storylines with the help of Tululu Pei Louis Tomoka of UN Women. There are stereotypes out there around the role that a girl should play and different from that that a boy should play, but through the character Nia, we're able to simplify it by showing that, you know, a female engine has skills and abilities and can actually get the job done just like a, a male engine. Thomas and Friends has over one billion YouTube channel views, but viewership has not necessarily translated into sales for Mattel. The company acquired the franchise six years ago for $680 million, but sales for the Fisher Price and Thomas and Friends brands were down 14 percent, due in part to lower sales of Thomas products. I'd better work extra hard if I want to fit in here. For these engines, the keys to staying relevant may be inclusion and girl power. How do you think these changes will help ensure Thomas's future for another 70 some years? I think the changes we're making will make the show sort of relatable for our young audience that are watching it today, but I kind of feel like it's a natural show that's going to go on for another 70 years, you know, it's, it's, it's so cool that he's a train, he's a character, he's going around the world, he's teaching our young audience lessons. There are other ways to get animals to move Thomas without scaring them. Yeah, he'll be here for, for many years to come, that, that track will keep on, on going. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Roxana Saberi, London.